salads, aubergines. In, uh, Arabic but you know, fish in some parts of Europe is considered vegetarian. <laughs> Today, you are European vegetarian. <laughs> I love that sweet and sour of that yeah. molasses, molasses, right? And, uh... They look like puris, huh? puffed puris. Yeah. Wow. Hot. So steaming away. Some of that aubergine. All the food, not many spices or not like too much of flavor or not overcooking. The structure is just so stunning. What's beautiful is the juxtaposition of the traditional and the modern, right? Yes. Fish oh. market, the okay. newly renovated Mina Port fish market, huh. which has indoors, like in the air conditioning. Earlier, it was not like this. Huh. Uh, very clean, nice. You can pick up the produce. You can pick up some local uh, foods and pickles and stuff. Huh. Um, you also have restaurants at the periphery. They would pick the fresh produce and huh. uh, cook it for you. Ah. In a typical Arabic, Emirati. But this Egyptian is where people would typically come and buy their fish yes. and yes, and, and take it home. And everything like. Yeah, tiger prawn, uh, Hello. You can pick the produce from here, whichever fish or uh. seafood you want. And you can give them for a kind of style of preparation. They will just make it and you can take them home. Ah, okay. Lovely. Coming what all Omar. do you have? From Oman? Yeah, it's a crab. Mud what? Crab. That's a mud crab? Yeah, it's mud crab. See? Salmon is alive, still alive. See? <laughs> Shark. Baby shark. Baby shark. Jaws. <laughs> this is what uh, seer is it? Oh, kingfish. Kingfish. Yeah. And this is. Jess, just local fish. Jess. All sea fish. Ah, sea fish only. Palm only is a sea bream, sea bass. These are all sea prawns or? Sea prawns. Okay. Sherry, local, local fish, fish. Yeah. sea bass, sibrim. This one for more. So that's the Al Shadar stall, and they've taken it a step beyond. They also have a restaurant there, where you can uh, get this fish cooked. Yeah, yeah. So we go there. Yeah. Shri, ready for some fish? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Poor Shri. <laughs> we'll have some other salads and aubergines and all that. Okay, done. Really. Salads, aubergines. In, uh, but you know, fish in some parts of Europe is considered vegetarian. <laughs> Today you are European vegetarian, so you can eat some fish. Okay. So which is the sea bream here? Sea bream is just one sir. Oh, this is all sea bream. Sure. So you do it what, in a fry? Is it? Charcoal is our sacred red sauce. This one it's a local marination in Egypt. Yeah. It's from Alexandria. And he's all the taste also. As he having some uh, spicy and some berries and some uh. Turkish uh, berries also. We want the prawns in the red sauce. Prawns also? Yeah. Okay. So some prawns and the sea bream. Patush, you must try it. The patush. I love that sweet and sour of that yeah. molasses, molasses, right? And, uh... On a hot day like this, this is the best thing to have. This is what? Aubergine? Yes, aubergine in the famous Egyptian red sauce. For us, Andhra people, right? Mm. Aubergine is a very important dish. Mm. Mm. Different delicacies. 
They look like puris, huh? puffed puris. Yeah. Hot. It's steaming away. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is. Mmm. There's some sesame in this. I thought it'd be as light as a pita, but it's not. It's very, it's very filling. You can also taste the flavor of some zira. Uh, it's called a, uh, a kolonji. kolonji. Onion seeds. There's onion some onion seeds. seeds that I can taste in that. Yeah. So good. Thank you. Some of that aubergine. That is spicy. Yes. <laughs> so the Egyptian preparations uh -huh. are spicier. The, the Egyptian red sauce is pretty famous. Yeah. And it's nice and spicy. I love the manner in which they cook their aubergine. It's very pulpy, very soft. Grilled, no? Mm. Grilled with a generous dab, a generous smear of that Egyptian red sauce. But inside the aubergine is quite uh, slight sweetishness to it, yeah. right? And like there are not many spices in, inside, you know. Yeah. It's just the natural flavor of the grill and the vegetable, that's it. Mm. The tiny is excellent. Tiny is basically sesame paste, sesame right? Sesame paste. But there's also a bit of sourness, so there are other yeah. things that they add into that. Just loving this food. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jody. Even without the fish, she's yeah, enjoying yeah. the fatouche, yeah. the aubergine and the red. Uh, Egyptian sauce and the bread. Yeah, bread. And the salad is excellent, the bread is good. Joey here is the one who loves the spice, so <laughs> I'm going to let her enjoy most of the spice. Yes, thank you. Mm, it's not hot at all. It's not that bhaji. What is that? It's like that mirchi bhaji from Uttara Karnataka. But it's not spicy. Oh, but on the inside you can feel the heat. Oh yeah, after all it is a chilli. <laughs> oh. Really? Initially, I couldn't taste it as much, mm. the first bite, but the second bite, now I can feel the spice. Oh, that is the... Uh, sea bream. Sea bream. Wonderful. All the food, not many spices or not like too much of flavor or not overcooking. Yeah, there's no it very simple. simple. And then the burst of flavors is amazing, you know. And then of course you have the, the sauce for the spice, so you can add up as much as you want. And I guess it also allows for more of the natural the flavors of the ingredient, of the main ingredient, whether it's a sea bream, whether it's a prawn or that aubergine, or let's say that crunch of the vegetables in the fatouche. plate loaded with all the things that I like to taste. So this is the Egyptian brown rice. Mm, it's quite smoky in its yeah. flavor. Mm, the spicing of it. Just right. Just right. You got a bit of the heat and then uh, there's a bit of tang as well no, in this. Yes. So they, do they add some molasses to this? I think so, because in the cuisine, mein, that's a huge role to play. Mm. So I think when you flip it over, you're getting more of the flesh. Mm. But I think most of that masala or that Egyptian paste is trapped on the bone. You'll have to definitely pick through the bones that you find in this dish. In terms of texture, the sea bream almost is very similar to, let's say, black pomfret, I think. Yes. Mm hmm? See, sea bream, I think, is also close enough to the sea bass. The sea bass is flakier. Exactly. Most of the masala mm. is on the underside of the fish because they've butterflied it. So, therefore, most of the Egyptian sauce is trapped there. But it's a little difficult to do it because you're picking through the bone all the time. So I flipped the fish to get more of that fleshy, its fleshiness with that skin, which has also been charred beautifully. 
I think for that you need some extra Egyptian sauce. Mm. When you're tasting the sauce just by itself, when it's grilled, it has a nice roundedness. Yes. By itself, it does feel by a little sharp. Incomplete. Yeah. Mm. Super. Love the heat of that marinade and that inherent natural freshness of that prawn. The sea bream is nice, but the prawn is spot on in its flavors. And because just me and Joe are eating the prawn, I think we certainly have far more on our table yeah. than we can handle in one sitting. <laughs> I love that smoky, spicy sweetness of the prawn. Mm. So if somebody wants to come here, they come to Al Shadar at Meena Market. They really enjoyed everything. The food was fresh, the fish. And you don't want to sit, you pick one of these, they will make the... So where do you eat it? You take it home. You take it home. Come here and say, uh, unke bade bade families are not. Uh, uh, 5 kilo prawns, ye marinade. Uh, uh, 2 kilo ye, uh, and uh, we keep it home. And uh, we used to do it too. So, great, uh, very local sort of an experience to try. Come to Meena Market, go to one of the any one of the fish stalls. You can buy your fish, you can give it to the shops there, they will cook it for you, but then you got to take it out and eat. or Better still, find a restaurant like we did. If you want to sit here and eat, well, Al Shadar, they did a great job. I enjoyed almost everything that I tasted, including the vegetarian fatush with the sweet, tangy flavor of the molasses, the pomegranate molasses, some veggies there. The bread was very nice too, with the onion seeds, with the kalonji and the sesame, and also the tahini. And between the sea bream and the prawn, my pick was the prawn. The sea bream is a nice fish, but definitely has plenty of bones. So if you're not used to eating too much bones, well, you got to watch. You got to be careful. Market timings, Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Friday to Sunday is when it gets busy from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., I suppose. Sri is doing the smart things inside in the air condition, whereas we are soaking up the Abu Dhabi sun. Well, where are the Louvre? Wow, this is surreal.